In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify the intermediate and the catalyst in a reaction mechanism. So consider this example where A plus B reacts to produce C and D. And in the second step, D reacts with E to produce B and F. So in this reaction, what will you do to identify the intermediate and the catalyst? Now to identify the catalyst, the catalyst appears on the left side first and then shows up on the right side. And the catalyst is not part of the overall reaction. The intermediate appears on the right side first and then shows up on the left side later. And it's also not in the overall reaction. Notice that B can be canceled and D can be canceled. So the overall reaction is A plus E which turns into C plus F. So the catalyst appears at the beginning and at the end of the reaction, but it's never consumed, it's never used up. Notice that B is first produced and then, I mean, it's consumed first and then it's produced later. So B is the catalyst. It shows up on the left side first and then it shows up on the right side second. So make sure you understand that the catalyst is consumed first and then it's produced later on in the reaction and that's how it is never used up. Now the intermediate is the other stuff that was canceled. The intermediate appears on the right side first and then shows up on the left side later. So D is the intermediate. It's produced first and then it's consumed later. The intermediate doesn't show up at the beginning or at the end of the reaction. It's somewhere in the middle of the reaction so you really don't see it but the catalyst is present at the beginning and at the end. Now let's consider another example. A plus B yields C and D. And then C plus E produces F and G. And it's going to be a third step. F plus A makes B plus E. So given these three steps, identify the intermediate and the catalyst. And just so you know, there's going to be two catalysts and two intermediates in this example. So let's find out what cancels. Notice that B cancels. So is B a catalyst or is it an intermediate? What would you say? Now B shows up on the left side first and then later it shows up on the right side. So it's consumed first and then it's produced later, which makes it a catalyst. Now let's look for the next species that cancels. Notice that C cancels as well. C appears on the right side first and then shows up on the left side later. So it's produced first and then consumed later, which means C is an intermediate. Now what else do you notice? Notice that E can be canceled. So E shows up on the left side first and then it shows up later on the right side. So E is consumed first and then produced later. This means that E is a catalyst, just like B is a catalyst. Now next we have F. So F appears on the right side first and then shows up on the left side. So F is produced first and then consumed later, just like C is produced first. And so F is an intermediate. So hopefully these two examples gives you a good understanding of how to identify a catalyst and an intermediate in a reaction mechanism. Now if you want to write the overall reaction, on the left side we have A plus A, which makes it 2A, and on the right side D plus G. And so this is the overall reaction. And make sure that the catalyst and the intermediate, they're not present in the overall reaction. So A, D, and G cannot be a catalyst or an intermediate. So that is it for this video. And if you want more chemistry videos, particularly on chemical kinetics, you could find it in my new chemistry playlist. Now, if you see the button on the top right, you could probably click that, and that'll take you to the playlist. Or you could find it at my channel. So thanks again for watching this video, and have a good day.